Hello all. In this video, I'm going to give explanation for these two services. All right. So these two are interlinked. Uh, so you have to go in a flow uh, or if you know, fine. Otherwise, yes, anyhow, it's always better to go in a flow because I'll, I'll show you how and uh, why. Before that, if you want to install our application that you can access in your laptop or your PC also. So the link has been given in the description. This is our course and we have so many contents in that uh, so there is a few free videos as well you can all, without uh, and before enrolling you can watch what are the contents and what is the duration presence all right so let's back to the video and let me start with this yes not getting in this one yes so here this is um, all about report DTC snapshot identification so in this uh, in this video you will be learning the 0 cross 0 4 that is um, the report DTC snapshot identification oh, sorry 0 cross 0 3 and 0 cross 0 4 all right so these are the two sub function you are uh, about to learn in this video so this this is actually it's a very interesting uh, concept in one of the interesting sub function in read DTC so just try to be focused so that you'll be getting something out of it so this service is very easy the next one is a complicated to understand but yes I'll try to explain as simple as possible so that you can anyone can understand all right so this service is um, is all about like sending 1903 that's it all right, so 03 is a sub function, 19 is a service, and the DLC length is 2. Fine, you are you will be getting the responses 59 is a positive response, 03 is a sub function, then 2a, 3e, 1b. This is a DTCs, and 01 is a DTC snapshot record number. So, this particular service intention is to bring you to know about what exactly the DTC snapshot record number with DTC so it is a, it is also kind of a roll number but here the term snapshot snapshot means you have to you have to recognize one thing it's kind of a taking a picture all right that means you are freezing the particular moment so the literal meaning of this here is when this particular DTC occurs what exactly the snapshot of the data whatever the data it may be example speed of the vehicle throttle position of the vehicle brake position or uh, information about the airbag airbag control unit or information about the uh, uh, about the passengers inside the car or lateral 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 position longitudinal position whatever it may be whatever the data you want you can put inside the snapshot identification but the thing is how you will retrieve it all right so for that you have you need the sub function called 0 4 all right but I before that I want ensure that you have you are very good at understanding this one so in this very simple you are requesting with 1903 and the response you will be getting is DTC with the DTC snapshot record number so with this DTC snapshot record number and the DTC you will be retrieving this information whatever has been coded all right so that I'll show you before that I'll just uh, pause this and I'll go to the particular slide because it is not on a flow I'll just pass it for a moment So here you can see this uh, it is uh, the, the previous slide yes uh, it is 03 we requested and we got this DTC all right so once again let me use this pointer yes so uh, we received this one okay so we have received this DTC and uh, we got this um, DTC uh, snapshot record number as well in this sub function that is 04 0 cross 04 this it is a report DTC snapshot record by DTC number so here we are requesting with the request is 19 0 for the sub function this is a DTC 3 bytes and one is a DTC snapshot record number 
all right this one yes so here the response is 59 positive response 0 for sub function DTC what we sent then the status of the DTC yes it's only server knows we doesn't know then 0 1 is again the DTC snapshot number and here the new terminology for you is 1 a to B if you are good at uh, you no know, flow control yes it is simple like I mean simple means uh, here ECU knows that uh, we want to send more ECU want to send more than 8 bytes of that data so it is uh, it is it is mentioning that here we have 8 bytes uh, so here the DLC got 8 bytes and it knows that it is more than uh, still we have so some 2 bytes of data so it it will ask the tester to send for the um, consecutive flow control frame so this is a flow control frame we have sent after that EC will send the remaining data so here 10 rec uh, represents the uh, consecutive frame first frame okay so one is first frame and zero means without delay you can consider and um, here the remaining two bytes 2b and b5 so here 1a 2b and 3 2b5 so here 1a and 2b are identifier and b5 is a dtc snapshot record so what is dtc snapshot record yes we'll we'll have in the next uh, slide before that you have to understand this uh, flow again so we are requesting we are we got a response in this response until this you are you are uh, you much familiar because in our previous video we have came across all these coming to this 01 it's a DDC snapshot record number and here 1a is and 2b is a identifier then b5 is a snapshot record so coming to dtc snapshot record it can can be anything say b5 directly indicates some some sort of uh, information or we can also use this as a bit level to accommodate more information so let's see here see here b5 is in a hex format so i have just uh, decoded in a binary format because you can consider in your project you have been using uh, this uh, snapshot record for in a bit level flag kind of monitoring so here one zero one one zero one zero zero so this is a thing all right so one two three four one two three four yeah eight bits so that is uh, this is uh, one byte and this is another byte so here let's see uh, always uh, this you can consider this should be this will be in a, in a reverse way in this way all right so here these are the flags it is not it is not represents any information except flag so if it is flag means a true or false kind of thing so speed is more than 80 if it is zero if it is uh, zero means it is lesser than 80 kilometer per hour and if it is uh, one means it's a uh, more than 80 meter per hour 80, 80 kilometer per hour okay so here you can consider it's so a one then zero one one zero one zero one so now we got the information the compressor issue yes when there when you got this DTC when this DTC occurs these are all the captures has been done our ECU by our ECU compressor issue yes it is then coolant issue no then throttle issue yes then ACU airbag control failure issue no then power train issue yes it is misfiring issue yes it is brake failure no speed more than 80 km yes the driver was driving the speed more than 80 km per hour so this is a snapshot that you got so this can be helpful for the mechanic to uh, diagnose still more to fix the issue for the DTC all right so I hope you got something in this video if yes yes you can hit a like and um, if you would like to go through what are the contents in our course yes you are always welcome to have a look on it and as i mentioned you have some free contents also you can watch those and the link description all the details has been given sorry uh, link description about the course and all other stuff has been given in this description as well all right so that's all and we'll catch you up in the next video